Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Freddie of the Craft Beer Nation, back at it once again with another quick beer review. And I'm um, looking like I've been camping for a week, looking kind of rough on camera today, but it's all good. Nonetheless, tonight I'll be drinking them right back and right to it. This is Trillium's Dialed In Batch 2. Uh, this is coming in at 8.5 ABV, and this was bottled on the 2nd of June. So when you guys see seeing this, I'm not sure when, but... It's about a little under a uh, little under two weeks old, and um, awesome. This is um, this is brewed with Galaxy, Citra, and Columbus, and as well as I believe in fermentation they're using uh, Chardonnay and whoa, uh, Gwartzenheimer juice, so some kind of wine uh, juices. But anyway, with that being said, now that you know about what beer I'm drinking and what it's in it, let's get it open and into a glass. See what it looks like here. I pour kind of hard. As you can see, proper glassware, nice, uh, really golden, hazy, beautiful looking beer in this glass, man. About I pour kind of hard, but about a finger, a finger of head. Really loose, big bubbles, um, kind of rocky as well, man. It looks like a, almost like the head you get like in a saison, typically, you know. Um, very, very frothy, let's say. Uh, wow, this is, I mean, it's beautiful. Nice, little, like a golden amber kind of color. Again, hazy like they usually do. Uh, let's get a nose on this bad boy. Big, oh, okay. So, you know, Galaxy, that's a pineapple. You get like that, that. Mango passion, lots of citrus. Uh, this has like this, uh, and I, I'm gonna take a guess on this. Is the, the, these are the like the wine juice that's playing uh, coming into play here? It's got this this dryness to this this beer. It, it smells like it has this like a very unique smell, uh, like almost. Wow, yeah, it just smells like really dry. Like it's not. It just is like a big exhibit of hops. There's like no real, uh, no, no, no real, um, like malt smells coming out of this. It's just you smell the, the citra. You can, you, you definitely pick up the galaxy. You pick up this wine juice. You smell that, that, that dryness to it. Just exploding out of this glass, guys. Unbelievable. Wow. I mean, this is this smells ridiculous, guys. So with that being said, I gotta try it. So cheers. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, that's nuts. Wow, okay, so tons, again, pineapple, you got like a mango in there, you get like a nice, like a, like a, a nice like orange zest to it, very, very citrusy, a nice orange zest, very vibrant color, uh, a taste to it. But what, what's interesting in this, um, I've had batch one, which was different, you know, that Nelson with the uh, um, the Sauvignon Blanc juices really gave us like this nice like champagne-y wine kind of feel to it, very spritzy, exploding with flavors. This, on the other hand, this, this has like on the, on the back end, it's like a very vinous taste to it, very dry, uh, a very like um, like a dry wine uh, effect to this beer. Um, once that like that, the hops initially just kind of, hit you it kind of just transform and you get this huge like almost like you're drinking wine like at eight and a half uh eight and a half abv you don't really get the alcohol from it but i almost feel like the the the, the wine characteristics in this go like when it's going down that that dryness almost makes you feel like you're, it's got a little heat to it you know what i mean um it's very, very i mean this is this is crazy yeah just tons tons of like tropical fruit, tons of citrus, and then the wine just comes in and it just takes over. Just a very, very dry finish with this like herbal, like earthy kind of dryness to it on, on the back. Um, carbonation, not too bad. Mouthfeel, uh, maybe medium plus or minus. 
Yeah. Wow. Um, with that being said, though, as far as the rating goes, um, do I think I'll put it this way? Do I think this is better than the first batch? No. I think the the first Dalden was a better beer. I think the uh, the Nelson the Galaxy um, with the Sauvignon um, grape juice uh, really just kicked it, put it on a whole nother level. With that being said, is this bad? No. This is just very different. Um, it's a very different uh, variant of batch one. Um, so as far as rating goes, I'm gonna give this a solid. I'm gonna give this a solid four CBN caps. Um, this beer is definitely awesome. Uh, if you guys can get your hands on it, I would do so. Um, it's very complex. It's different. You know, like this is one of those beers that. If dialed in was a beer that you you know you you want to have a, you you're in a party you share with your friends you can be outside cooking you know this is this is a more like a you know you're drinking this in a room with a bunch of friends and you guys are all gonna have your nose in you guys are all gonna be dissecting this beer you know what I mean it's not something that you can just drink and like just parlay with you're gonna really want to talk about this beer because it's just a full expression of flavors and, and, and aromas to this man so definitely man solid four CBN caps unbelievable again this is Trillium's dialed in. And again, this is their second batch. This was their third year anniversary beer, a double IPA coming in at eight and a half percent ABV. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe. Watch a bunch of other reviews that we got going on here. Tons of great stuff in the works. Cheers.